Okay, today we're going to be talking about measuring the temperature rise across the furnace. It's a pretty, pretty straightforward process, very easy to do. We're going to need one thermometer with either a multiple, a dual head, or a single head. Make sure you turn the thermometer to a reasonable calibration point on it. The furnace is going to be in a steady state efficiency, in other words, it's going to be operating for 15 to 20 minutes to make sure it is up to full temperature. On the return side, we're going to take a measurement. On the return side, out of line of sight of the heat exchanger, and we're just going to measure the temperature. This is going to be the return air temperature coming into the furnace. Okay, it's about 69 degrees, 69.3 degrees. We're going to do this again, out of line of sight on the supply side. On the other side of the coil is acceptable, but not in direct line of sight of the heat exchanger. The, heat, or the coil is going to absorb the extra heat picked up. The evaporator coil is going to pick up any radiant heat coming off the heat exchanger. Okay, it's leveled off at about 122.5 degrees, so we're going to subtract the 66.5 and the 122.5, and that's going to give us our temperature difference. 66.5 from 122.5 is 57.5 degrees. What we're going to do is with that number, we're going to go down to the furnace nameplate itself, check to see what our temperature rise across this furnace is supposed to be, right here. The maximum outlet air temperature is 180 degrees. The temperature rise is between 40 and 70. 57.5 degrees is between 40 and 70. That is the temperature rise of our furnace. If that number is too high, we need to figure out why. The most common reason of that being too high is that the blower motor is set too low, or the filters are plugged. So we want to double check the filters, make sure that those are clean or out in this testing phase. If that is fine, then we look at other problems, either restriction the ductwork or we increase the air by changing the blower speed. We'll cover that in a different video. If it is not high enough, we're going to slow that blower speed down to allow the air to pick up more heat. 